All right, I'm gonna do this as quick as possible because I'm about to be on grandpa duty. But today's numbers are just a little bit too juicy to just let go without a uh, attempt at a card of the day. 131, 2023. 20, if you do the math, you got a bunch of fucking threes. You have three, 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 three. Where if I already tell you three is your thoughts, 33 are your experiences, 333 three, three is invasive thoughts, 3333 three, three, three is pervasive programming. It is, holy shit, I can't get shit out of my head. And in most people's cases, it's because it's all you see. And, you know, do your own research on that. When you get inundated into an environment that only shows you the same thing, it becomes subliminal programming and the food, food and fruit for predictor programming. So three, 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 or four threes rather, gets you fucked up. Cause four threes is 12, your ritual. You are hung up. Remember I told you to keep showing it to you, you can't let it go. Even when you try not to pay attention to it, you're still aware that it's there. So then that becomes part of your programming. Uh, 131, the day itself, my magic, and what's pulling me apart, timelessness. Um, or the mortality, the thing I keep worrying about. Magically, I am pulled apart by everything I give my energy to. That's a true statement. Everything I give my energy to already has my magic. Now, 1 plus 31, 32. Reasoning. The element of air. The element of my thoughts. If these thoughts are trying to tell me what to do, and them thoughts are only getting me fucked up, maybe I need to stop thinking them. So, you're either going to move reasonably, or you're going to move aimless as fuck. A lot of y'all, and I'll try, try to warn you last year, about 2023 is going to be a heavy self year. But if self is only determined by the traumas that self already went through that never allowed self to be who self wanted to be or who self is authentically, who self authentically is, you fucked. So then you're moving aimlessly. Three plus two, five, movement. You're moving aimlessly. Some of y'all are so easily programmed, you are energetically able to be pushed, pulled, and prodded by the simplest of things. And sometimes the simplest things really is complex. So we'll go down real quick. We'll start with the big one. 131, 2023 comes up to be four threes. Uh, like I call it pervasive thinking, pervasive programming, because it's beyond thinking at that point. You just, you're fucking an automaton, automaton. You're a sim at that point. You don't know how to function on your own without some level of programming. You'll fuck around and find out though. Diversity. My experience as i told y'all for years my experience with the king of shamans that's who that character is is in my journey he told me you better figure out who you are or everything else will tell you what it needs you to be that's the truth remember pervasive programming if something is only hitting you with enough energy to tell you where it wants your energy to be placed you gonna fuck around and find out you're already in a spell so from there, we go to 131. Like I said, you're magically pulled apart. Why? Because everything, the diversity of everything that you can do and diversity of everything going on around you already got your attention. And once it has your attention, it gets your intentions, your energy, your ashe, your will, your ashe. Don't matter what fucking word you throw at it. It has you. Because it's the only thing you think about. Remember, three, six, my thoughts will tell me where I can be found. So if my thoughts told me where I can be found, then that mean my thoughts already know who I am. I could beat y'all up so many different ways on that with all y'all, you know, predictive scripts like astrology, even from my my standpoint, um, numerology, which is my big one. Uh, anything that gives you a pre-human uh, design, anything that gives you a preset destination of what you can do and where you're going to go and how you have to act without you taking responsibility for what you're doing in the meantime means you're already enslaved. So magically pulled apart by everything that you keep communicating with. But the only thing you're communicating with is your thoughts. Three, 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 pervasive programming. It's everywhere you go. It's in the diversity of everything that you do is already some level of programming. So until you start to discover who you authentically are without all your programming and traumas, you're only going to be a summation of what you're experiencing based off of what was left here for you to know. 1 plus 31, 32. What was left for here, you know? A bunch of shit to keep you wandering around like fucking Moses in the desert waiting on somebody to feed you. Or you only trying to feed yourself from the same shit that already poisoned you. That's aimlessness. But in this realm of knowledge where you don't know where you about to fall off the ledge, you motherfuckers call that shit reasonable. Spiritual laziness. You ain't on your throne. Something else already ruled over you. What was ruling over you? I can already tell you. Three already showed you what four is 
in my number system 34 is God, the generator, operator, and destroyer. The thoughts, three, will show you what to create. Everything I just said. So when you get out here in this realm of laziness, trying to figure out why you moving, you only moving spiritually lazy by what you want to know. But as I keep trying to tell you, if what you want to know has only been given to you by what it needs you to see, you're already fat folk. You're already fucked around and found out. So 32 will show you five. Why am I so easily moved? Why? Because I don't think for myself. I only think for what has already been left for me to pick from, just to be honest. So the five is going to show you, or you're already in a manipulation, you're already in an act of manifestation, you're in amplification, and you're trying to find stillness, but you're only trying to find stillness in the same shit that already stole your energy and leaving you still a mess. All you want is stability. See, I just want to stop the bleeding. I don't want to get out of here. I just want here to get better. That's a lot of y'all. Hell, I've been guilty of that shit myself too. I mean, hell, look at it from a lower level. Let's just say in a relationship, you with somebody who you know is not your match, but but you become <clears throat> comfortable there. So you invest more energy in waiting on them to realize who you are and hope that they change alchemy, who they are to be a better fit for you while you're consistently and constantly changing who you are to try and be a better fit for them where you already got the answer. It doesn't work. Alchemy. You are magically being manipulated by trying to find stability by telling the truth that it needs you to lie. That it needs to lie to you so that you feel better, basically. The answer was, it don't work. But no, see, I can make this work. I'm willing to invest my energy. I'm, I'm willing to magically pull myself apart so that I can learn to magically be held together. Stability. Stopped ability. That's what stability is. When you stop a cut... You are stopping the ability to cause further infection. But if you don't treat the wound, you're still sick. Medically speaking, if you just stabilize the cut, but you don't do anything to suture the wound or stop the bleeding, you're still leaking. Spiritually, a lot of people are still leaking out here because you don't know how to keep still. That's this five. And again, because we're dealing with programming, you are under the five energy because you can't keep still because the thoughts have become pervasive. So we started with the pervasive thought that said, holy shit, I'm going to take you through everything and I'll show you the thought that can make you find your foundation. So it took you through a realm of communicating with the thoughts, which already gave you already gave the thoughts your power. And now the thoughts become God here. And you just want to find stabilization in the field of the thoughts. But you haven't found stabilization in yourself as a thinker. Why? Again, because of the programming, another level of three, 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 four threes. <laughs> means to show you the struggle it means to show you the struggle because only thing you want to do is achieve stability where you've only been lazy and gotten off your throne because you keep communicating with what you see but what you see and already told you you'll only see what i want you to know figure it out on your own but i'm telling you 2023 gonna work that ass you keep on investing in what you think and who you think and how you think everything is working for you more than you are working for yourself you only working yourself over. It's all an illusion, motherfucker. But your energy and motion won't allow you to keep still. Good luck, though.